So here's a quick clip with Chael Sonnen. Check this out. Chael talks about the most powerful drug in UFC, and no one has even talked about it. Check this out. Last month, do you even have any kind of reservations dealing with this anymore? Well, the whole testosterone thing is really interesting from more of a philosophical standpoint. Sure. Testosterone's a real big, hey, look at what this hand's doing <laughs> so you don't see what this one's doing. And people have missed the boat you know, so much. And they do talk about testosterone, and I hear those arguments, and I tend to agree with them. Uh, even though I take testosterone, I tend to agree with the arguments that are saying, hey, what's really going on here? And when I hear those, it does raise some flags, because I'm not an expert on it either. I'm just a guy that went to the doctor. Here's what you've got to do. All right, you take your doctor's advice. But I will tell you this. Testosterone is a very small concern on the legal list. Now, I'm not talking about guys that are cheating. I'm not talking about your guys that have found a way around the testing procedures. I'm talking about your guys that come straight forward, do everything right, and say, here's what I'm doing. Is this allowed? Yes, it okay, well, I'm going to do it. Testosterone's not the greatest performance enhancer that's legal. And as long as people can keep you looking at this hand, they don't see what's over here. What's better? There's a lot of stuff better, and, and I'll tell you this, the media asks the wrong questions. And I hear the question come up all the time, and the media asks the wrong question repeatedly. And, and it's this major debate now, and everyone's focusing on testosterone. It's like, guys, let the testosterone go. Start going down the list and seeing what else is going on here. That's, again, that's legal. I'm not talking about guys breaking rules. I'm talking about on a legal scale testosterone's not at the top of the heap what would you say is at the top of the heap i wouldn't <laughs> testosterone's not at the top of the heap what would you say is at the top of the heap i wouldn't <laughs> now chow summer i'm a big fan i'm a big, i like some of these words and these is a mental approach i definitely appreciate that but let's be fucking honest all right Chow wouldn't be fucking shit without drugs. EPO, growth hormone, testosterone, HCG, all these drugs he's used to build his career up. He wouldn't be fucking anything. He would be he wouldn't even fucking be in the USC if it wasn't for fucking performance enhancing drugs. Or he may be he might he may get a foot in, but he would not be a fucking winner. You can't be a winner at the top in big dollar sports without drugs. Drugs work so fucking effectively. Cycling, swimming, running, soccer, tennis. It's oh, just skill and no, no. Here's, here's, here's how it fucking works, all right? Here's how it fucking works. Talent is fucking one thing, all right? They say hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And that's true. And now I'll tell you what the fucking reality is. Dopers beat talent when talent doesn't dope. So if you're talented and dope, then you're a fucking champion. If you're talented, that's good. If you're doing state stuff or whatever, you know, district, whatever. But if you want to be a big hero in the UFC and you're not prepared to get on the gear, then you ain't gonna be nothing. But what's the drug that Chow Sonnen doesn't have the balls to talk about? That's right, Chow doesn't have the fucking balls to talk about it because he's still working for UFC. How the, that, that's how much of fucking UFC doesn't give a fuck about doping. That's how much they don't give a fuck. The, the Nevada State Athletics Commission, maybe a little bit, but UFC is like, um, you know, you guys are fucking up our income. USC doesn't give a fuck about dope, and I've talked to a few USC athletes in person about this, and I won't go too far with that one, but <laughs> let me change the subject quickly. Charles Sonner wouldn't be fucking nothing without drugs. And I, I think he's a cool guy. You know, I'd love to have a chat with him and stuff like that. I don't, I don't hate the guy at all. I understand to be a professional athlete, a big name professional athlete. So yesterday on Facebook, a wrestler came on and said, doing a lot, you know, this bullshit, you say I'm not on drugs, I'm not on drugs. And I'm like, so who, who are you? That's right, I've never fucking heard of your name. He's a professional wrestler, but I've never heard of him. And that's not having to go enough. And I'm just saying, I should be more clear, the top, I'm saying, the top, the people you know on the street, the people who walk down the street and they get recognized left, right, and center, the famous people are on the gear. And that doesn't make it bad people, it's just a business choice. And that's what it takes if you want to be a fuck. and that's, I don't, yeah. People don't like to hear that, but that's just fucking how it is, especially in UFC, especially in soccer. You won't be shit, man. You need stamina. You need fucking agility. You need you need drugs to bring out your talents, all right? Talent's one thing. Training's one thing. Combine those, put on some drugs, <laughs> world fucking game changer. So Chalson doesn't have the balls to really say it how it is. Do you know why? Because he's still employed by UFC. He's still on the fucking microphone. What the fuck is UFC giving a guy who's been busted for EPO, 
growth hormone, testosterone. They can still give him a mic and give him a job, give him a paycheck. Because the UFC doesn't give a fuck about doping. If Dana, if Uncle Dana was fucking serious, which he's not, he says, it's money, man. It's a fucking business, you idiots. It's a business, man. So, they don't give a fuck. They're like, yeah, whatever. And hey, the spectators don't give a fuck because they want to see king hits, king hits, king hits all the fucking time. They don't want to see two guys getting fatigued. They want to see a fucking gladiator shit. All right? They want to see gladiator shit, man. So if you think that anyone's natty at the top, you know, <laughs> Anderson Silva on the juice his whole career, man, at the top. Because it's the big game, man. It's where the big dogs fight. That's where the big cash is at. If you ain't prepared to dope, you simply won't cope. If you're not going to pin it, you won't win it, man. That's just how it is. So Charles Sonnen said some great things. Appreciate his opinion. End of the day, doesn't have the balls to really fucking say it how it is because he knows he'll get his he'll get his nuts chopped financially if he really came out and talked about painkillers. Painkillers, number one drug of choice in most sports because if you don't feel the pain, you can just train through it. Simple as that. People say, oh, but, but no, like, there was a study done, someone on Facebook said this morning, oh, there was a study done that painkillers don't work. <laughs> and I'm like, you're a fucking idiot, man. You're a fucking idiot. If you think painkillers don't work, um, have you ever been to the dentist and had something done on your teeth and they give you some painkillers beforehand? I'd have a vasectomy done, all right? I'd have a vasectomy done. They give you a local anesthetic on your nuts. Do you think someone could chop your nuts, play with your nuts with scalpels and shit without fucking anesthetic? Let's say you could do that with anesthetic, they could play with your nuts all day and you wouldn't even fucking feel it as much. So if you're an athlete getting king hits, punched, kicks, shin clashes, and you're on painkillers, you're not going to feel it as much. You won't walk the next day, <laughs> but you won't feel it as much on the game. So Charles Sonnen was, was about to talk about painkillers, but he realised if he did, he's not going to open up a whole can of worms and Uncle... Dana would open up a can of whoop-ass and chow financially and say, look, you're fucked. See you later, buddy. We'll get someone else. We'll get Joe Rogan back off his podcast or whatever. He's not smoking too many bongs. <laughs> but that's just the reality is, man. Drugs, 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 and more drugs. And if you're watching Olympic Games and you're cheering your heroes and you're thinking they're not in the gear, then I've got some dancing durins for you for sale from Malaysia. And $150,000 a pop. You can sell them on eBay for 180 grand. Let's do business. Let's do business. Testosterone's not at the top of the heap. What would you say is at the top of the heap? I want it. <laughs> <laughs>